Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how you can create a poster like this in GIMP. So let's get started. I will link the images in the description so you can go and download it. So first open your GIMP. I will go to file. I will create a new document of size 2000 pixel into 2000 pixel. Click OK and I will create a document like this. So secondly, what I'm going to do is just import this image here convert i will just select this scale tool from here if it is not available here uh, click right click and then select scale from here okay so after clicking scale i will just drag down this so that it takes this much works okay now what i'm going to do is just select uh, scissor selection tool and just select this out like this you can also fix it by doing this now you can press ctrl z to just reset it it is Just keep in mind that you are selecting this uh, this in this layer is selected yes. to do just go to select inverted deleted okay go to select and then then go to right click on the layer go to alpha to selection what I'm going to do is go to select and shrink it a bit. I will go with shrink it by 3 pixel. Just select invert and delete. Okay. I will go to again go to select and none. Again, I will go to alpha to selection. Just feather it a bit. I'm going with 3 pixel here also. So after doing this. I'm going to do this now what I'm going to do is just get another image here we convert it and move it downward okay I will scale it down again so I will select this image layer that I want to scale down I will just go to select and none and I will scale it down like this I guess this works so in this image what I'm going to do is just right click on heal tool press control to select an area and I will heal this out okay just use left click to Heal the area out. Okay. I guess this is done. So now what I'm going to do is create a new layer. After creating a new layer, I am going to pick this rectangle tool, selection tool here. And in this new layer, I'm going to create a rectangle like this here. Just select this color edit fill with foreground color select done go to colors or go to layer like this layer go to layer go to crop to content i will go change its mode to multiply 
Okay. It works. Now what I'm going to do is again this time I will again select rectangle tool and create a new layer here. Create a rectangle. this. We lower it a bit. This change my color to this. Go to edit and fill with foreground color like this. To select none. Will change my mode to multiply again. Again, I'm going to go and select the ellipse tool and create a circle like this. Hold shift to create a perfect circle. Yes, this works for me. I will create another layer, and after setting this layer, I will pick up this yellow color here to add it and I'll fill with foreground color here. Select Done. we can also go to layer for this after selecting this layer go to crop to content in normal i will go with multiply put it a bit here so that it comes in above the background layer that tree uh, that flower layer and up below the lady layer okay now what i'm go what i'm going to do is i went with desaturation for this lady you can go with colors you can go with colors and you can go with desaturate and then desaturate it i went with this but you can also experiment with other colors and other modes you can go with go to colors and go to hue and saturation and work around with the situation you want to work with okay depends on your taste i will just go with Desaturation for it and saturate it out for the background again. You can try with colors and go to again, go to hue and saturation. Work around with the situation you want to work with. You can I will go with this one, okay? Just select the text tool. I will go with GIMP here, okay. I will change its color to white and slide it above. Move it here. Yes. Again, type it is Q also here. Change its color black for this brown here. Over my text 200, I guess, or 80. 80 bucks for me. Okay, so now I will create a new layer from visible. We'll go to new from visible, select this image, go to filters, and I will go with oh, go to colors and i will go to curves just fix my curves a bit create an s like this and click ok colors again and go to shadow and highlights and lower my shadows lower my highlights a bit again go to colors colors and temperature i will increase my temperature a bit Is that's how you can create a poster like this you can experiment with it more you can add more elements to it you can add more colors to it and work around with the hue and the background as you want and the uh, add more elements like more rectangles work around with more elements you can add different elements with it so hope you guys liked it like comment subscribe